Hi, welcome to another UMA tutorial, and this time we're doing UMA 2.5 because it's finally been released on the Asset Store. Now you're probably watching this video in the future, obviously, because you're not watching it in the past. So maybe it's UMA 3 now, in which case, I hopefully we'll have made some new videos. But until then, let's play about with UMA 2.5. In this video, we're going to try and get Daenerys Targaryen that you can see here, wearing some lovely clothes. A bit like we did with this fellow here in the red robe. This time we're going to grab an asset that was made for UMA 2. We're going to create new slots and overlays and then create a wardrobe. So we're going to show all the steps of how to create slots, overlays and the recipes using UMA 2.5. Now for this tutorial I picked up this medieval female costume made from Arteria 3D. It's available on the asset store for 12 bucks and I'm going to put the link in the description below if you guys want it or not. But I would recommend also popping over to the Arteria 3D website because it does have sales every now and again and I think at the moment it's April Madness or something because this well fourteen dollars on his website is now four dollars twenty so that's a bargain and they've got a load of bargains as well you can find Uma clothing for male and Uma clothing for females so I would recommend if you're looking for some novel clothes for your Uma projects pop over to Arteria 3D and have a look now hopefully this tutorial is also going to show you how to add a slot and an overlay from your own models that you may have made yourself, probably following that fantastic tutorial series from Secret Anorak that you'll find on YouTube. Those videos are amazing and you can easily, well relatively easily, make your own Uma clothes from scratch as well. So we've got it in our scene now and if I have a look in the Medieval Dresses folder, I've got a subfolder here for Medieval Dress C, where I've got the main dress and also got materials and some old UMA materials and an UMA overlay and an old UMA slot and then there's a subfolder here for the textures that are used for all of the, uh, the models. So we've got a hat that shares the same textures and another folder with a robe that also shares the same textures. So let's start by making a new UMA material. Let's put it inside my materials folder. So I'm just going to create a folder here. I'm going to call it dress just so I can keep things organized. Now we do actually get free with our model existing materials but let's uh, make from scratch. So we'll just keep this one here that is the standard the unity uh, material here that we've got. So it's just a standard shader. You've got albedo, specular and the normal map and these are the ones that you get in this folder. You could do it yourself but I, you know there's other tutorials showing you how you can make um, these materials. So, uh, no point going into here. Just be waffling, wouldn't I? Really? So, let's go back into our new dress folder. Click Create. Click Uma. And it's under Core and Material. I'm going to call that one Dress Material. And we've got here three slots here and this one is a normal map. Okay, now I'm just going to lock this in here just to start from getting away because that just annoy me. Let's find our medieval dress folder and drag in the standard material into there. Now I need to remember these are, I think this was underscore main text we're supposed to put here. This one is bump map Think, and this one is spec gloss map. I think. Okay, so let's unlock that and uh, free again. And now we want to create an overlay. So I'm just going to go into my overlays folder and create a folder called this dress. And in this one, let's right click, create Uma, and again, core. And it's the overlay asset that we wanted here. Yeah, overlay asset. Okay, I'm going to call this one imaginatively dress underscore overlay. Where do I get these ideas from? I just don't know. So my overlay name is going to be dress, um, scratch my head here, C. Guys, I'm just going to assume that you can have lots of dresses in your scene. Alright, so we want to basically increase this to three items in our texture list and we're going to drag in our three textures that we got free well not free but we paid for 
So, the first one is the albedo, we're going to drop that in there. And the second one is the normal, oh we should have locked that, but make sure that your normal is normal. And your specular, oh look, spec is spectacular. So, um, overlay, lock here in so you don't hide. Okay, back into textures, let's drag our normal in the middle one, and our spec in the bottom one. Yeah, we want to drag in our material here that we just made. So, back into dress, drag you in there. And now pretty much our dress overlay is done. So far, so good. Now we've gone in our slots. This is our slots. So let's make a folder. Call this one again. Dress. Um, I mean we could let's all right. Let's just call everyone dress C. I'm just gonna grab that. Rename you. Oops. To dress C. And I'm going to rename this one to Dress C. Okay, just so. Uh, Alright, fine. Unlock this one here. Okay, brilliant. So, now we've got our slot folder. I'm going to go up here to Uma and click on Slot Builder. And here, Destination Folder, let's drag in our slot. So, this is so our slot that we create will be created in this dress C slots folder. Why is it gonna be messy? It's randomly put it somewhere, you just don't know. So uh, let's find our dress C material, drag it into materials. So far so good. Keeping the root bone as global and let's find our mesh that you got with this. So here it is and drag in the mesh here. Hopefully yep everything else is found the right mesh. And it's giving the element name medieval dress C. Should we change? Let's change that to dress C. And once you click create slot, it should magically appear in our dress C folder. There it is. Oh, I was holding my breath then. I thought something might go horrendously wrong, but it didn't. Okay. So, so far, so good. So I've got these other. I'm just going to delete these. Other ones I've got. I'm going to delete this old ones I was playing about with. Delete my long coat. And I'll delete these long coat textures. And I'm just going to delete this wardrobe here. Okay. So now my Uma folder just has the stuff that we're playing about with in this tutorial. Sorry about that. I really should have done that beforehand. Now just wasted a couple of seconds of our time. So in the wardrobes, let's create another folder. I'm going to call this one like we've done the other ones. Dress C. I think the mosquitoes back. Oh, so now we're going to make our dress wardrobe. You remember how to do that, guys? So we go create Uma TCS wardrobe recipe, and let's call this one dress underscore C. Okay, so now we need to uh, just click on this one and point drag and drop in. It's so fun. You can just click to pick. See, click to pick. And it is humor, human, humor, human female DCS and also human female. Okay, so we're going to call this dress C um, wardrobe Slot. What does what this dress take up? Oh, waist maybe? I don't know. Um, what does it? I'm, not, I'm a bloke. What, what, where do you wear a dress? You don't feel waist. It's a skirt. If your legs, it's a skirt. Um, let's put it on chest, I suppose. Maybe. Ah, okay. So now with um, the Arterium models, they don't actually replace the base mesh with anything. Um, it places them on top of them. And I've just actually I've just noticed something annoying that my preview for my female is a bloke. So if you go down to placeholder options, you can change it to a female. That's better. That was disturbing me a little bit. I was getting a bit a little bit confused. So back into our dress wardrobe recipe. So I'm not going to suppress anything, we're not going to hide any base slots, and like I said in the previous tutorial, we're not going to replace, otherwise you would get a 
dress covered in flesh and that would be weird so use replace to like replace the head with a new funky head or something okay so now we want to drag our slot into here right, so let's, let's again lock this so we don't lose it I do love that lock button I advise you all to use it as much as you can I actually um, made a little bit of a mistake when I set my slot because when you create your your new slot it'll actually create it in a folder name of your slot so now I've got dress C and dress C um, so I'm just going to move those into the root that one and then delete this subfolder okay sorry about that just tidying up a bit of house cleaning again so this is my new slot we're going to drag it in here wow this has been created so now we need to find our overlay and drag in our overlay now you see we've got three textures wonderful there we go we're pretty much done with all of that yes I think so so the last thing we want to do is click on UMA click on UMA global library ah don't forget to unlock that if I just be confused like I always am and here's our folder the all my stuff and my UMA just going to drag my entire Uma folder into here and you see that this has gone up from 53 to 54 and my asset overlay data assets gone up as well and my wardrobe has gone up so now actually everything is in there you don't have to manually um, find it all like you did in the previous tutorial it's a waste of time this is a lot easier I do realize you could drag an entire folder in but you can so that's fantastic right, let's go back to our female and I'm just going to drag now our new wardrobe onto her let's click play and hope that it works oh look at that it works <laughs> it's a miracle so um there you go it was really easy wasn't it i mean shocked myself how easy it was I didn't actually run through this beforehand did it as we did it together and um it was pretty simple wasn't it so Guys, have a play, enjoy yourselves, have fun. I'm going to run off now and add a little hat on. And I don't know if she's got shoes under there. I think she's running around barefoot, poor lady. All right, so I'll see you in the next tutorial. And remember, guys, if you like it, click it. If you want to see more in my UMA series, click on the links on your left-hand side of your screen. And don't forget, if you really do like these videos and you want to see more of them, please click on that wonderful subscribe button that's down below. There's also a little magic bell that when you click it, it tells you when a new video has been uploaded. See you guys next time.